The BFG, Big Friendly Giant, has been chosen for Harry Movie Club this week. So for this Today We Review, that is what we watched. The BFG was released in 1989. It's directed by Brian Cosgrove. He also directed the Danger Mouse TV series. That's the only other work that I really know of his. So this is an animated film. It's also marked as family. I'm not sure if I would agree with that so much. It involves kidnapping and Stockholm Syndrome. I don't know if I would really want to show my kid this. The movie is about Sophie who one night sees a dream giving giant and then is caught and whisked off to giant country. Sophie goes to look at an owl out of her window, at which point you are able to see that Mrs. Clonker's orphanage is kind of a terrible place she gets yelled at just for being out of the bed and they show the rules, well, one of the rules out of the ten and it says no games allowed. That's the only rule they show, but if number 10 is no games allowed, you can assume the other ones are equally as terrible. BFG grabs her and then whisks her off to giant country. So of course, she's Sophie, a little girl, and he's a big giant. So she just thinks that he's going to eat her, because from all the tales that we know, giants love the taste of human flesh and bones. However, he's different. Rather than eating human flesh and bones, uh, BFG decides that he eats uh, some type of fruit, kind of like the stupid Collins and Twilight only feed on animals rather than humans. However, the other giants aren't willing to compensate their flesh for some vegetable. BFG has overheard the other giants, I guess, creating a plan to ch kill a bunch of human being children, and it's going to involve the orphanage that Sophie was at, so her friends. Sophie doesn't want that to happen, of course, so BFG, because he is the provider of dreams to us, he's able to uh, create a dream for the Queen of England that will show that the giants are going to attack. So this is like pre-inception inception, and it works. On the Queen's orders, the English army is sent to giant country with BFG and Sophie to take out the giants and their homeland. They're able to get all but one of the giants down, the red-eyed one. The red-eyed one has to be taken down by uh, BFG. He actually gets, uh, blows a dream at him, and it's a dream of Jack and the Beanstalk, which to the giants is a nightmare. At the end of the movie, BFG gets a commendation and is given a really big palace, but doesn't want that. He wants to go home. Sophie and all the orphans from Mrs. Clonker's place, because it's closed down, get a place to stay in the palace. However, Sophie decides she wants to go with BFG back to giant country, which is a bit weird. The movie begins with a kidnapping and then ends with Sophie staying with her captor. It's a bit like Stockholm Syndrome. I hadn't seen this before, but I really did enjoy the animation. It reminded me of the Inspector Gadget cartoon uh, TV show. So the music in this uh, movie is very good. The animation is great. It still holds up, even though this was in 89. I would have to say for this uh, Keeper Delete, this is going to be a delete. It is a good film to watch. I did enjoy it, but I don't think I'd want to watch it again. If I have children, maybe it would be different, but myself personally, I saw it once and now I'm good for it. Thanks for watching this Today We Review. It was for this week's Harry Movie Club. I'll have an annotation. It'll be here. It'll have all the other entries for Harry Movie Club and it'll be in the description also. If you feel like reaching me, you can do so on Twitter at MadLFan. You can also use hashtag TodayWeReview or comment down below. You can find in the description also other ways to reach me. Thanks for watching. So that was Today We Review of the BFG from 1980 Died for Harry Booby Club. If you want to reach me, you could do so online at Twitter. Odd light, of course it's gonna be odd light.